you know? So, hey. That day gonna be great, man. It says none like it. Even, it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who gonna be saved out of it? That time of Jacob's trouble. That's the martial law, that's the famine, right? The pestilence, the microchip being pushed on, uh, on, on a mass scale, the race wars, the nuclear destruction that's gonna come. These are, these are the times of Jacob's trouble. Going to that word trouble is gonna go into like distress, man, anguish, man, you know? But he shall be saved out of it. Who's gonna be saved out of it? The elect. The elect men are gonna be saved out of that trouble that's gonna come, you know? And that's beautiful, man. We wait on that day, man. Saved out of that trouble, man. And it's gonna be beautiful when the Lord comes, man. Uh, Matthew 25 and 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, right? What's his glory? The chariots. And all the holy angels with him. See, his holy angels are gonna be with him. The angels, when you we are we did a lesson a couple weeks ago. When you uh when you go into Ezekiel, the, the first chapter, it shows you where the angels and the chariots are the same thing. It shows you when they enfold their wings around their bodies, right? It makes it makes a, a, a covering. And where they where the spirit looks, that's where they go. So these angels are moving at a high rate of speed, man. Like the damn speed of light. We went over that in, in, uh, a couple weeks ago. So when the Lord shows up, the angels are gonna be having their wings covering their bodies, they're gonna have they're gonna look like that shell, which you people call UFOs, man. You know them, you you know them to be UFOs, we know them to be the angels. Right? And that's what we are out here to do. That's an imagination, that's a stronghold, man. Even when you have put up angels in your books, you make them to be so-called white men. These are strongholds, man. These imaginations that we are casting down. We're destroying these imaginations with the scriptures. And it says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all his holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Right? He's going to sit upon the throne of his glory. He's going to sit on the clouds, man. As a judge, man. Visiting all, man, that have done iniquity. Visited the elect for their salvation. All praise be to Yahweh Shem Yahushai, man, when he comes, man. You know? And it says, uh, and, and his holy angels with him, then he shall sit upon the throne of his glory. And when he comes, man, all eyes, it tells you in Revelation, the first chapter, the seventh verse, all eyes are gonna see Yahweh Shai when he come back with his angels. Because they're gonna appear in the heavens, man. So when he come back, y'all gonna see him, man. Yeah. He's gonna be coming from the east to the west, man. You're gonna see his power, man, and his glory. So for all you people who, who scoffed at the prophets, who who, who uh didn't take heed. Because in Isaiah, the first chapter, tells you that our people don't even consider, man, the truth, man. So all the people who stop and they walk by this, this heavenly Father's word, man, they are going to be uh, uh, reckoned with, destroyed, man. They're going to be busy. Okay? It says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon his throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided the sheep from the goat. When you read the 
read Isaiah 50 and 17, he's gonna, it's going to tell you that the sheep are Israel. And when you go to Daniel 8 chapter, it's going to tell you that the, the, that the he goat was Alexander. And we know Alexander was what? So-called uh, so white man. We know that was Alexander. That's when the Edomite rule uh, basically took over. Right? The stronghold, 312 BC. Right? That's that's when they basically took over. During the, in the death of Alexander, you had what? His, his generals, they all fought for the throne. Killing each other off, man. That's what that Maccabee is all about, man. Backstabbing, treachery, by having to fight your enemies. One empire or try to set the other empire up because they want the throne. Marry their daughters off to you. Send letters, pretending that uh, make peace with the, with the Israelites. They they call they they they, they uh, the, in the apocrypha the name would be Jews, which are the Israelites, man, because that was uh, the Southern Kingdom over there at the time. In the 160 BC, 70, and all the way down. That was the Southern Kingdom. It was the Northern Kingdom 2,700 years ago. From today, they were already here. Back then, the Northern Kingdom had been on this side like 600 years already. The Babylonians gave us that name, man, because it was three tribes together. The head tribe being Judah, so they just, they, they, uh, uh, search, short named it Judah. Short. So Judah, Benjamin, and Levi took on that name. It says, he's gonna, it says he's gonna separate all these nations, man. So how is it that, uh, we should all be, you people got this doctrine that we all, uh, are wanting to be together. When you when you talk about you are one, that's that's the new world order. The Lord separated Israel. That's why He gave them the, the covenant. He separated Israel from 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 uh, everybody else, man. Everybody He gave us what laws He gave us, statutes He gave us, commandments. Man. Let me show you that. Leviticus 26, 46. And these are the statutes and the judgments and laws which the Lord Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel. See, it didn't say any other nation. So how is it everybody else is in our covenant? You know? This said he gave the law, statutes, and commandments to the nation of Israel, the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans. So for anybody to say we all need to be together and be the one, you ain't read the scriptures. It is a separation. The Lord gave the laws to the Israelites, man. He didn't give this covenant to nobody else. That's why you have people, when the scriptures are read, they don't even believe in it, man. Because it wasn't give, given to them. You go all the way back to Esau and Jacob, what Esau do? He sold his birthright for what? A morsel of meat. And it tells you in Hebrew there's no repentance for his, his nation. So if there ain't no repentance for your nation, then you just hear here to do the bidding of the Lord, whatever he wants you to do. And for them, is to be wicked against us, man. That's why you still see them killing us in the street and nothing they ain't never done. Like I said, they just rounded up all those Mexicans in Mississippi, in six different cities, separating their kids from them. And ain't nobody saying nothing. And Esau did it. So they're planning, they're planning a bigger thing than what people know, man. They're planning martial law. They're planning to put us in concentration camps. Like I said, man, you have to have the spirit of the Lord on you for that protection in that day. Because if you ain't got it, man, when Esau comes, he gonna tear you up. That's why it's, it's, it's real important, man, that you get in these scriptures and study. It says in Leviticus 26 to 46, these are the statutes, and judgments, and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the end of Moses. Right? 
So it's all about us, man. That's who the Lord died for. He didn't die for everybody. He ain't no John 3.16. You gotta understand what that's talking about. They go that word, world goes into a word called cosmos. It goes into a meaning of a multitude of stars. The stars of heaven, when you're reading Deuteronomy, is the Israelites. We are the stars of the Bible. That's why it said in De Deuteronomy 7 and 6, we're that special people. How many LeBrons in China? How many Jordans grew up in China? How many Kobe's in, in, in Africa, really? None, right? Ain't no Tiger Woods over there in Australia. We the special people of the scriptures. Everything we put our hand on turn to gold. Can't nobody out there. Nothing that we got going, bro. If I had my uh, invention thing, I'll show it to you. We invented everything. Stop lights, lights, everything. I got a, uh, I had a uh, poster. Man, when you see the inventions that we did, you wouldn't even, you be like, it'll blow your mind. But what they do, you make it, we take it, and then we patent it, what? It's their creation. We don't read the book we got, bro. No. We got, uh, now, the, the part of the Bible they took out, the Bible, the structure you hid, was the Apocrypha. Apocrypha is 14 books. The Bible, the structure group in 1926, we took this out of the if you have a uh, 1611 Bible, this part is in there. But like they took it out. But who are the uh, printers of the scriptures? The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Right. So so-called white man, he, he has a printer press. So when he started printing his Bibles, guess what he did? He started making NIVs and all the other little uh, uh, translations, right? To actually throw you off. Because the pocket, I got an A cover, A P O C R Y C H A. When you go into the pocket, it's going to have uh, the book Ezra in the Bible. It's going to have basically when you read Ezra and Nehemiah, they're basically the same. You got Ezra, and you're going to go here. Ezra really, Nehemiah go together. Then the Ezra here, first and second Ezra, really three and four. Then it's gonna go into uh, we're gonna have a Maccabees in the back, which was that history from from like 200 BC, the Hasmonean Empire with Judas Maccabees, them. They was fighting against the Edomites, the so-called white men. Uh that's gonna go all the way to the time of the Lord, all the way down of that, then you started in New Testament. That's what I was starting to study on the Bible, the printing press of the Bible, and then prior to that, before everything was just uh, out, uh, and it was organized by the Catholic Church. Yeah, they got a big hand in it. They got a real big hand in it, man. Like, I was, I'm going to show you, I'm going to read you one scripture. Uh, we're the other people of the Bible, we can get your life. That whole thing is really in this dust. Because the Israelites are the ones who came in on the cargo ships. They tell you when you read these persons in Deuteronomy, it's going to fit us. Fit us to the teeth.
Flavian Dynasty, yeah. Uh, you just type in that space, Titus. You ever heard, remember when we were in the school, in history they talked about the Ark of Titus? Yeah. Exactly. That son, when he destroyed us, he built a shrine with all like, symbolizing like the destruction of our nation. So we had to run out of Canaan, which is Israel, down in Africa. It said go to the mountains, because it's the and Andes is a mountainous region in North Africa. We had to run down into Africa. And once we got there, we started migrating all the way to, we got to the western coast. We migrated over a period of 70 AD. You go 70 AD, and then you go the first slaves, the, the 1600 slave trade, you're talking like 1500 and like 80 years. So we lived in Africa, we made Africa great because the Israelites of the south of the earth. So we made them great living right beside uh, the children of Ham. The, 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 the each ancient Egyptians, the ancient uh, Kushites, Libyan, and South Africans. But we, 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 they knew who we were. So when the Arabs came along and made those ships, then boom, the Hamites knew who we were when the so-called white men had came over Columbus to America and took our native brothers Gadites, North American Indians, and some of the Rubenites, the Zimanos, they took them in 1500 back to Spain and put them in slavery. So when they came back and said, look, we're going to take this place, man, boom, they came to the west shores of Africa, bought us home. Those were the Israelites who had left Jerusalem 1500 years prior. I think I might have a, a next I might have, I might have a book in here. You might. I do I got it in here. Yeah, it's our, it's our national, it's our character, the Bible. It's who we are. You gotta remember, the Lord had law, statutes, and commandments for us to go by. He said, if you don't obey, I'm gonna have bad things happen. That's why our people, as a nation, are in the condition we in because we went against the Lord. He'll put, like he said in Daniel, fourth chapter. I'll put, I'll put the Lord's man on the on the planet open. That's like disrespect. But the Lord could do it. He can do what he wants to. But that time, what we are here telling you now, the time of our redemption is near because we don't do the prophecy. The things that happen in the Bible is now. We, we, it's real close to that. Everything is going to change, man. It's going to have to take a war for the change. They got the right people in office to make that happen. Yeah, you know, everybody knows the boom in there now. Now, this is a book called Babylon and Timbuktu. Right? That's all based on the system, the whole system. Yeah. 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 That whole system, system got to go down. Yeah. Remember you said in Romans? That's what it is. It's from the ancient Romans. It has to go down. Now I'm going to read this. This is Babylon Tip Up to our Rudolph Winter. On page 84, he went into it a little bit. He said, in the year of 65 BC, the Roman army under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state. They always put Jewish, but this means pertaining to the like We were the tribe of the or the tribe of Jews. Right? The Judah is this the African Americans now. Back then, it was three tribes Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, who are the so called Haitians, the West Indians. We were all together. Doing never the next time, we were all together. He knew this was the head tribe, so what he did, he didn't call us by a name. Go out of the point of kind of disrespect. He didn't say Judah. That would be too much of uh, a, uh, giving too much free to us. So he called us Judah. That's how the word Judah came up. Then they didn't even say J-U, they put an E-W. So it's really when you say Judah, who, who was around when the Lord was on the scene over there, there was three tribes. First three tribes, all the other tribes were here in America already. So he said, the great slaughter during the period of the military governors of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residents of 